We've always had a gallery space here, but um, we decided we needed to make much more of it. And the, the big thing was that we wanted to get members of the public to come in. We launched it um, this month, sort of quite quietly, with an exhibition of sixth form photography from um, schools in the region. The next one that's going up is our first really big show of 2017, and that's called Fountain 17. We've been working with a lot of well-known artists, with students and with uh, community members for that. We named the gallery, we haven't had a name for it before, but we named it after the architect who designed the first building in Hull where art classes were held in 1861, and that was the Royal Institute in Albion Street. And that was Cuthbert Broderick, so we've called it the Broderick Gallery. We really want people to come in and see the exhibitions that we have. So the project up as a whole was a very straightforward brief to artists and to students to respond to Duchamp's work through their own creative practice. So it was a really open brief. We just asked poets, musicians, artists, uh, writers to produce their own work that had in one way or another been inspired by, by Fountain. The intention always from the beginning was to have a a mixture of well-known established artists alongside emerging and up-and-coming artists so that was always the the intention we've got work from four-year-olds alongside people who've won the Turner Prize um, so that somebody at their beginning of their career might be exhibiting alongside somebody who's who's really quite established as part of the Fountain 17 program we have a, a series of associated events so some of our artists are coming to give talks here and what we hope to achieve with the visiting speakers is um, artists, practitioners coming to talk about their practice, how they got involved in their industry, how you get started, that kind of information is invaluable for, for students. We're hoping that in the spirit of Duchamp There'll be lots of fun, you know, some mischievous moments, some surprises, some unconventional happenings.